introduce our Director of Mindfulness Practices, Marta Patterson. Marta? Hello, everyone. My name is Marta Patterson, and I am the Director of Mindfulness Programs at Journey to Authentic Living. In the next few weeks, I'll be introducing and offering some programs uh, about mindfulness and meditation. Mindfulness has been proven through a lot of research in the past 20 years um, to help reduce stress, to help work with chronic disease, uh, to help work with pain, and ease suffering of all kinds. Um, also working with anxiety and depression. So, you know, in our society, we often go to the doctor and want medication to work with these things um, or therapy. But we all have an amazing well of resources right within ourselves. And if we can get to our space of mind that we're able to draw that out, we really can be our own physician and our own therapist. It's amazing with all the people that I've been able to work with. Um, I've, you know, we were able to get them off medications, um, you know, cut down on, even if they're diabetic, you know, to work with these different um, programs to, to be able to get them to de stress in diabetes, for instance. Cortisol is a stress hormone. It increases blood sugar, it increases blood pressure. So if you can find a way to learn how to decrease your stress naturally, you can, you can cut down your medications or in some cases even eliminate them. That's just it's one example. Um, so I, I'm a huge believer in this because, you know, life is stressful, right? Everybody has their stuff that they've got to deal with. I'm getting older, I'm in my 50s, um, you know, there's all kinds of chaos that comes with life. So what you want to do is, you know, be able to use these resources and help yourself. So, Marta, can you um, also uh, tell us a little bit about your background uh, in healthcare? Yeah, I was a um, oncology nurse for many years. So I worked with a lot of uh, individuals were really struggling, um, pain, and a lot of emotional um, issues that come up with the diagnosis of cancer, uh, and then all of the you know, things that go along with it, the treatments and the, you know, just the stress involved. Um, so I learned back then about meditation and started playing around with it for myself. Um, and then over the years, you know, with kids and um, life, um, I took many uh, courses on meditation and mindfulness and eventually became um, very interested in mindfulness-based stress reduction and took training at UCSD for that. And um, it's an it's a incredible program, rather intense program to work with just getting your own mind to work with you rather than against you. Um, so, and I've also been a, a mindfulness-based coach for several years, um, just doing individual therapy, working with people to help them, you know, maximize their potential, help with you know, the stress in their lives, and, you know, their own gifts and talents to help them along the path. And who can do mindfulness practices, Marta? Obviously, anybody, anybody can do it. Can. Um, okay. I mean, I think any person that takes it will get something from it. Um, I've seen all levels of people who have been able to, you know, even just get that ability to have a moment of stillness and be comfortable in stillness, where they're able to notice things about themselves um, that maybe they never even noticed before, even in therapy. But you're, you're training your mind in such a way to be with stillness 
and then to be able to see and observe your own mind and your own thoughts. So, you know, it takes some training, but it's, it's an incredible payoff to be able to you know, have this, have this ability. That's great. Well, thank you for sharing with us. And we're really excited to have you introduce uh, more of these practices in the next coming weeks. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Namaste.